Hey there, I'm Mike Karen from the Paperless PTO, and I am on my way back to my office where I am about to put together a video that's going to help you. And what this video is going to be is it's going to show you how you can set up your directory app as an item for sale on your Paperless PTO website. Now, keep in mind here that there are two ways you can do this. You can set it up as an item for sale that's included in your membership or you can set it up as an item for sale that can be sold individually to your parents. So depending on which way you prefer to do it, you can watch this one video and answer each question. So sit back and enjoy, and I will see you then. Now the important thing to note here is that there are two ways that you can set up the app. First, you can include it in your membership purchase so that if someone were to purchase membership from your group, they would have a directory app that is included with it. Or you can set it up as an individual item for sale. And in this case, you might want to have them purchase the membership separately and then purchase the app as a standalone item. Now to show you how to set up the app, I'm going to use our trusty demo site, which is the Lincoln PTO, and I will click on my account so that I can log in to my account as an administrator. And by this point, I'm sure you know that you then mouse over the board only menu option and click on website builder. And that takes us to the website builder page. And from there, we want to click on manage items for sale because what we are doing now is we're going to set up an item for sale which will either be or include the directory app. So when we get to the items for sale page, I'm going to click on add new item for sale and that will take us to a page where we enter the details about the app. So typically we will set up this page where we enter the information we can include the description of school directory app, give it an abbreviation. The vendor is not important in this case. And we've given it an effective date of July 1st of this year, which would be the first date that it is available to purchase. And let's say we wanted to end the sale on September 30th, which would be the last day that we would allow parents to purchase the app. And that, of course, is up to the policy of your group. We also want to include a narrative, and here I've said that this is the smartphone directory app. It gives you on-the-go access to all information related to your children and their school. And now by this point you're probably familiar with the fact that you need to link every item for sale to an event, and in this case we've selected the directory app event, and you can obviously create your own and, and set them up as you desire and we've given it a price of ten dollars and we're going to just ignore the late price and multiple quantity prices for the purposes of this demonstration but now the two important factors to note here are these two check boxes right here the first two the first one says that this item for sale is our directory or membership and if we want to include the app as part of the membership purchase then we will check this box that means when somebody comes to the site and they want to want to renew or pay the membership for the school year if this box is checked that means their membership purchase will include the directory app then the second box we also want to check as well because this one indicates that this item for sale is or includes the directory app for smartphones. Now what that does is it lets the system know that when somebody makes a purchase of the app that they will then or that the system will then generate a registration key for this person. So if we had this unchecked then no, no registration key would be generated so they would not be able to activate the app. So that, that's pretty much a no-brainer but the first checkbox is the important one to note and whether or not we want to include this item for sale in our membership or not is going to dictate whether we have this box checked or not. So why don't we say that this item for sale is not going to be part of the membership so we're going to uncheck the first checkbox 
but it is the directory app so we're going to leave the second box checked then all we need to do is scroll down to the bottom of the page click the add item button and that will save the school directory app as an item for sale now that we saved the item for sale that means it is available for purchase so we'll find it under the for sale menu where we can mouse over and then click on directory app and what we'll see is the school directory app is available as an item that can be purchased it has the price of ten dollars it is available through the 30th of september and the narrative tells us that this is the smartphone directory app which gives us on the go access to all of the information related to our children and their school. So in order to purchase, it just becomes a matter of entering the quantity in, adding it to the shopping cart, and then away we go, purchasing the app. What happens next is that the parent will then make the payment on the site for the order, which includes the directory app. And once they make that payment and the the order is processed and they pay electronically via credit card a registration key is generated for the buyer and what the what they can do is they'll actually get an email notice telling them that they can go to the page which is called my directory app and it will show them a list of the gen the registration keys that they have purchased and now you can see here that the user has purchased several already and they are listed here each with an effective date and an expiration date so what they would then need to do and depending on what kind of a device they have if they have an android they can click on this link right here where it would take them to the site where they can then download the app and then install it on their phone or if they have an iPhone they click on this other link which takes them to the iTunes store and enables them to download the app from that location and when they install the app on their phone there is one step where you have to enter your website email address and password plus this registration key that has been assigned to you once you enter that into the device and click save that is what's going to activate the app for you once it is successfully activated then you have full access to all of the information that flows down into the app which of course is in sync always with the information that is on your website and that we will cover in another video so this is Mike Karen from the paperless PTO and I will see you in the next video segment Thank you.